This is a video review of a Hornby train pack. Um, this is actually a limited edition pack. Um, probably not that well known about. It's got the standard um, box. It's the R2602 GNER225 uh, train pack, which is Tam the Gun. Um, um, I'll just so it's got like I say the standard box which has the sleeve. I've actually taken the insert out, but the just to show you the insert, just a card insert which comes away from the box. Um, double O gauge model, like I say it's R two six O two. It's the two two five high speed train. Um, it's like I say it's a limited edition of five hundred pieces. This being number ninety eight. Um, basically, you've got I'll just take the insert away. Um, the Tam the Gun locomotive, which is nine. Uh, that's power car class ninety one nine one two two. Then you've got a Mark IV driving van trailer, eight, which is eight two two oh seven. How are you going to see that? Which is up there. And then you've got two Mark IV coaches. Um, you've got a Mark IV um, open standard coach, 11401, which is that one there. And then you've got um, another Mark IV open standard coach, 11417, which is there as well. So it's a four car pack. Um, I'll start with a locomotive. So it's actually um, named after um, the locomotive that was renamed on the 6th of December 2005 um, as a tribute to the late um, district gunner Thomas McKay MBE who was basically nicknamed or known as Tam the Gun um, and like I said this is a limited edition model it's got um, Simon Collar signature, it's not hand signed, it's printed um, still um, quite a nice, it's a nice certificate um, it's got quite a bit of information there about the 225 project for GNER Great North Eastern Railway. Um, I'll start with the locomotive. Um, it's obviously the um, an older model, dates to around um, 2005, 2006. I would have thought this model. Um, like I say, obviously it's Tam the Gun. Um, it's not a bad model. Um, it's not got lights or anything like. That. It's just got the dummy lit end on there. Um, the motor is on the front end of the unit. Um, it's a five pole motor, as you can see with the bigger grey gears. Um, let's quickly put that back in. It's got a real or a operating pantograph, so if you have got the overhead system, then you can. Um, it will pick up the power from that. If not, you can pick up the power from the um, second set. Of basically the second dummy bogey on there. You've got a switch on the roof, um, it's in the position to get the power from the wheels but you can switch it across um, all that um, towards the back of the locomotive to the end of the travel there and then it will pick up power from the pantograph. The pantograph is raised but you can lower it and it will just, um, if you do it right, it will click in in there. So just to say if you've got tunnels or bridges that are lower then avoid the pantograph um, hitting those. Um, the class 91, um, like I say, it's the two t in known as the um, Intercity 225, but obviously this has been um, after privatisation was taken over by GNER and done in their sort of dark, near enough royal blue with the gold lettering. Um, they had a cab on this opposite end, or on the flat end of the locomotive, because um, basically um, on the 225 um, train, you have the motor in this unit, but the opposite end, which I'll show you in a minute, is the driving van um, trailer. doesn't have an engine in it, but if the communications between the... That's what I believe the cab's for. If the communication between the dummy end and the power end fail, then the driver can't control the train from the dummy end, so this power car would um, loop round the, to the opposite end of the train and then... Um, pull the unit by connecting basically would couple up like that um, and then it would pull um, the train using the cab on the opposite end so it's basically an emergency um, backup to power the locomotive in case of failure between the communication between the two units um, but like I say it's quite a nice um, unit 
um, and obviously it's a limited edition of only 500 pieces so it's one of Hornby's more rarer ones and I had, didn't really know about it until I saw it come up for sale and I thought well it's a bit different because I wanted a 225 in this livery anyway. Um, so the DVT like I say it's basically the dummy end in real life you've got the cab on the end there um, obviously an older model it hasn't got the lights or super detail or anything like that like the newer model so it hasn't got um, any pipes or anything there I guess it has got some holes so you could possibly get some more detail and fit it if you could find the right I don't know if that would have come with it originally it doesn't look like there's any space for it so but you may be able to get something from Hornby um, to do that. It's quite a nice, not bad detail livery model. You've got sort of like pipe in there. Nothing painted on the underside or like I said, there's no lights or anything so there's no contact from the wheels into the um, body to get any power inside the unit. It's got metal rimmed wheels on the plastic, mainly plastic frame with a melt spoke. Um, full size coupling which aren't removable. Um, bit of nice detail on the end and um, on the door, a little bit of writing. Um, Authorised personnel only, that says. And the same for the cab as well. No, nice bit, not too bad a model really um, for the age of it. And then you've got the two coaches, Coach C and Coach D. This is Coach C. I'll only show you the one coach because they're going to be pretty much the same. You've got the red or pinky coloured doors on these ones, which. Um, Pretty much, I think you need now on the locomotives have to have different coloured doors to show passengers basically where you can enter the train. I think that's some like European or whatever legislation. And it's the um, route of the Flying Scotsman livery on the coach there. So you've got the GNER um, livery, um, sorry, logo with the route of the Flying Scotsman there. A nice bit of detail on the end, not, not too bad at all. And um, with a grey or light, very light grey beige colour end as well. Um, like I said, it's a made in China model, um, so um, that's that one. And um, the other coach is going to be the same as that, but the coach D. Um, I haven't got the maintenance sheet for this one, but um, it will basically be the same as the standard 225 one, I would assume. But yeah, a nice model. Um, if you can get your hands on one, it's. Um, I've don't never seen any more come up on. Um, online anywhere or anything but I'm sure if you really kept your eye out you would eventually find one um, so yeah thanks for watching um, if you check out my videos um, through my channel um, there'll probably be some videos of it running somewhere if, if you can't find one drop me a message and I can um, put one on or I'll point you in the right direction okay thanks for watching